But we begin with that dramatic crane collapse that happened in Midtown. Right now, we know at least 11 people have been hurt as a result of this collapse, including two firefighters. Now, it all started when the crane caught fire around 7.30 this morning. As a worker tried to put it out, the fire caused a cable to give way and swing 16 tons of concrete into a nearby building before falling 45 stories to the street. But as dramatic and frightening as a scene as this was, officials say it could have been much worse. As they look into how this happened, engineers are now making sure the buildings in the area are secure. We have team coverage on all angles, but we begin with Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett live at the scene in Midtown. NJ. And that's right. How could this have been worse? It could have been worse if it had happened an hour later. You would have had traffic out here on 10th Avenue. You would have had many more residents out on the street on their way to work. Yes, uh, nearly one dozen people were injured, but mostly they were minor injuries. Oh my God. The deafening roar sent construction workers running for their lives, desperate to escape the collapse. Go, 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 go. The crane's boom toppled over in an instant, ripping into a building across the street before tumbling 45 stories to the ground. As I'm coming out, you, you see debris and everything falling from the sky. Just the building shaking alone was enough for everybody just to run away and try to get out the building. I don't think there's any words. I, I never seen nothing like that before. Several firefighters, workers, and pedestrians would be treated for mostly minor injuries, but no one was killed. The wreckage was scattered across five lanes of 10th Avenue, a mound of twisted steel and 16 tons of concrete. Why we're so lucky is not only the boom falling to the street, but all of that concrete could have struck civilians, and this has spread out throughout the area here. The building at 550 10th Avenue is a residential high-rise under construction. The collapse happened at 7.30 this morning when the crane's engine compartment caught fire as workers were lifting the concrete. And that weight of 16 tons is attached by a cable. And as the fire heats the cable, the cable weakens to a point where it loses its strength and that's where the collapse occurred. The crane operator was not injured and the cause of the fire was not immediately clear late this afternoon. Fire marshals joined city building inspectors as the investigation unfolded on 10th Avenue. That crane operator saw that the fire started and, ex and tried to extinguish it. So we give a lot of credit to the crane operator, but the fire overwhelmed that operator and had to exit the crane. Again, the cause of the collapse is clear. What caused the fire that caused the collapse is not. As you can see behind me, 10th Avenue is closed for roughly 10 blocks with debris still scattered in the street.